15 things you didn't know about Richard Mille. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're going to present you with some exciting facts about Richard Mille, a man and brand well known worldwide for the most exclusive high-end luxury watches. Born in Draguignan, France, in the year 1951, Richard Mille started his career in the watchmaking industry in 1974 and held senior management roles in various watch companies. His educational background includes a marketing degree from Besancon, and he lived in England for a year to learn the language as well. He spent his whole life in the watch industry, although before getting into production of his own brands of watches, he appeared to find the work a bit restricted in the creative areas. He always longed to be a part of the actual design and development of the timepieces, as opposed to just manufacturing and selling them. His drive pushed him to launch his own brand at the age of 50. If not for his vision, the bold luxury segment that exists today may not have come to be. He has been successful in marrying the traditional elements of watchmaking with contemporary designs and materials. This combined with unique ways of marketing has led to the creation of a whole new generation of luxury specialized watches. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So it's time now to take a closer look at the man and the brand that revolutionized the luxury watch industry with the 15 things you didn't know about Richard Mille. Number 1. He carved his first design out of a bar of soap. While Richard was the CEO of French jewelry company Maubusson, he craved to own the entire design process all through his tenure and was inspired to create something new. At one point, he knew exactly the design he had in mind, and he carved the prototype for it into a bar of soap, which later would be converted into reality by his team in Switzerland. In an interview, he stated, I knew exactly what I wanted. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I carved what would be the prototype for my very first watch out of a bar of soap. Number 2. His inspiration is his love for car racing and Formula One. The major inspiration for the brand Richard Mille has been the technical world of car racing and Formula One. Most of the models feature tonneau-shaped cases, transparent backs, skeleton-looking dials, and flaunt a very futuristic and technological feel with unusual materials. He calls his watches a symbiosis of his love for cars, aircraft, and everything mechanical. Number 3. Mille partnered with watchmaker Audemars Piguet Audemars Piguet is a Swiss watch manufacturer that has been family-owned since 1875. They created the first repeater watch in 1892 and are best known for their Royal Oak watch line. In 1999, Richard Mille joined forces with the historic watchmaker for the production of its first line of watches, but he held onto the brand name and image that is Mille. In 2001, with the help of Audemars Piguet's company APRP, the first brand of watches was launched. Number 4. Mille started his own business at the age of 50. Entrepreneurship knows no age, and Mille spent a majority of his life studying and marketing luxury brands such as Seiko and Maubusson. At the age of 50, he told himself he needed to build his own brand then or he never would. He wanted to have complete control over the watch brand, not just the marketing of it, and thus was born the brand that is now selling some of the most expensive and sought after watches in the industry. Number 5. A special edition of his RM056 Sapphire cost $1.98 million. Mille created his revolutionary RM056 Split Seconds Chronograph Tourbillon watch in 2012. It was the first watch to have the entire three-part case cut from a solid block of sapphire, and each watch features 35 jewels. In 2018, a special edition dedicated to the race car driver Philippe Massa was sold for $1.98 million. Only five of the special watches were created, and they were sold out almost immediately. Number 6. He had to delay his first watch line launch for one year due to malfunctions. Mille has said that the biggest challenge he faced when starting his company was that he wasn't able to meet the deadline he set for himself. 
His first watch line, the RM01, was supposed to be ready for the market in 2000, but the torque indicator was not working properly. He says that he could have made the deadline and just made the repairs when necessary, but he didn't want to do that. It was painful for him to lose a whole year when he was just venturing out into the market, but that's just what it took for him to be able to present an excellent quality watch in 2001. He says it prepared him to deal with any other setbacks he may encounter in the business. Number 7. He invested his own money in developing his first watch, the RM001 Turbulent. His first watch, the RM001 Turbulent, was modern, handcrafted, and featured carbon fiber, not gold or diamonds. He knew the cost of his design would be twice as much as any other Turbulent at the time, but he trudged on, using his own money to fund the development. Richard was convinced there was a market for the revolutionary mechanical watch he envisioned. The watch was a success, and even though only 17 pieces were produced, the demand for these specialized watches was definitely growing. Number 8. The watches are made in Switzerland, yet Richard still pays taxes in France. The Richard Mille watch brand is based in Switzerland, and this is where all of the watches are produced. Still, Richard chooses to pay taxes in France. He knows it's crazy, but he loves France so much. He does end up paying more taxes this way, but none of that matters to him. He's an eccentric with a love of fresh air, and he enjoys attending the Tour de France up close with the best cyclists in the world racing along the French countryside. Number 9. Champion tennis player Rafael Nadal wore an $850,000 Richard Mille timepiece at the French Open. Spanish tennis player Rafael Nadal was one of the first athletes to wear a Richard Mille watch while playing his sport, but the first watch he wore for Mille broke, as did several others. Mille said this helped him to learn what worked and what didn't when it comes to creating high-endurance luxury timepieces. Nadal has played professionally with and won several tournaments while wearing a Richard Mille watch. In 2015, he wore the $850,000 RM2702 Whirlpool Rafael Nadal while playing at the French Open. And the watch doesn't affect any of his play because it weighs only 20 grams, which is less than the weight of four quarters. Number 10. The RM011 Philippe Massa Flyback Chronograph was one of the brand's most successful chronographs. Philippe Massa is a former Formula One driver, and he was the first sports star that became a spokesperson for Richard Mille. The RM011 Philippe Massa Flyback Chronograph is the brand's most successful model, and it continues to be produced in several variations. In 2015, two limited edition watches were released to celebrate the 10-year partnership between the company and the Brazilian F1 driver, including the RM056 Turbulent split-second Philippe Massa 10th anniversary, of which only 10 were made. It includes a sapphire crystal case and 500 individual components. Click on the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of the 17 signs of what makes a luxury watch to find out more about this topic. Number 11. He was the first to insist all of his brand ambassadors wear their watch while in action. Golfer Bubba Watson, Formula One drivers Romain Grosjean and Philippe Massa, and Olympic sprinter Johan Blake are just some of the famous names that are his brand sponsors. These celebrities have won at their respective sports while wearing the watches as well, which adds to their flair of owning one for sure. Mille has said, when I work with someone, my only condition is that they must wear the watch during their sport. It's my only condition. As a longtime race car lover, he makes mechanical watches for Formula One drivers that can hold up to the shocks and forces of a race. He further went on to design and craft watches for various sports, including golf, sailing, and tennis. Number 12. He produced 4,000 watches in 2017. Mille's concept was based on three core principles, the best of technique and innovation, the best of artistry and architecture, and the best of heritage and culture of fine watchmaking with hand finishing at any cost. He knew for sure he was not going to allow cost to get in the way of his brand vision. He knew the cost of the watches would be extremely high, so he was happy to just sell a few dozen pieces a year. He's been more successful than he initially expected, and in 2017, he produced 4,000 watches. Number 13. He had a clear direction for what he wanted to build, and he didn't start with any traditional market research. 
Most brands would start out with doing a lot of marketing and research before getting into production. However, Richard Mille knew what he wanted right from the get-go. He didn't conduct any marketing studies because he wanted to do a technical study instead. In the beginning, Mille said, I don't want to integrate compromises. I don't want to integrate any marketing data. No, I will go pure cutting edge, sharp as I want. While this may appear risky and cocky to some, genius means believing in your brand and your vision, and the fact that you have value out there. Richard Mille has certainly been practicing what he preaches. Number 14. Richard Mille once handed over his own watch to Mark Cavendish. Mark Cavendish is one of the best cyclists in the world and a watch collector. He was starstruck when he met Richard Mille at the Tour de France and said he was shaking like a leaf. When they met, they talked for a while, and then Richard casually handed Mark his own limited edition RM011 Philippe Massa watch, saying, I want you to wear this. I hope it brings you luck. Number 15. In 2017, he created the lightest split-second chronograph in the world. Richard Mille is known for creating luxury timepieces that are not only durable, but super light. The weight is an important consideration for athletes, so that the watch does not affect their performance. Mille has revolutionized luxury watch segments in a number of ways, and these lightweight timepieces are another game changer in the industry. In 2017, Mille made history yet again with his RM5003 McLaren F1 split second tourbillon chronograph. At just 40 grams, it has the distinction of being the lightest split seconds chronograph ever made. And there you have it, Aluxers, some incredible lesser known facts about Richard Mille. So, if you could own any of the Richard Mille watches, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments below. Still here? As a thank you for sticking with us all the way to the end, here's your bonus fact. Number 16. Richard Mille watches are always sold out. Yes, even the ones costing a few million dollars. The $2.2 million RM5602 Sapphire Tourbillon, all 10 of them, were sold out well before production was completed. The 5602 is made of a cable suspension system within transparent sapphire. The base plate is made up of grade 5 titanium and is suspended within the case by a 0.35 mm thick cable. To create a case for the watch takes 40 days of machining and 400 hours of additional work for the final touches of the movement bridges. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.